overseas to the war in Ukraine and the fallout from the Biden administration's decision to send cluster munitions to Kyiv. ABC's foreign correspondent James Longman joins us now live from Ukraine as U.S. allies are now speaking out. James, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Janae. Uh, this is a um, fast-moving situation because a lot of key U.S. allies are now criticizing this decision from the United States to supply Ukraine with cluster munitions. The U.K., uh, Germany, the, uh, Canada, New Zealand, they've all come out uh, against this decision, all saying that they don't believe these weapons should be used. British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, he has said that uh, Britain does not endorse this. He's one of 123 countries uh, to ban their use. The Spanish defense Defense Minister has come out even further. She said yes to the legitimate defense of Ukraine, no to cluster munitions. Why is all this so controversial? Well, uh, these munitions are incredibly dangerous. They cause uh, indiscriminate damage. They explode in midair and then smaller bomblets uh, land on a wide area. And the issue is unexploded munitions then can pose a risk to civilians. That is why the United States has said that the munitions they're supplying have a lower fail rate than anything that Russia or Ukraine is currently using and that they stipulated Ukraine must adhere to a number of conditions. They can't fire them into civilian areas uh, and they must uh, commit to demining once the war is over. Nevertheless, all of this will be a source of tension for President Biden when he meets with NATO allies this week. Gio. A big week ahead, James. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.